General Motors is making a major commitment to the former Detroit Hamtramck assembly plant. The facility, now known as Factory Zero, is going to build two of the company's cutting-edge electric vehicles. Let's bring in business editor Rod Maloney with today's big reveals. Rod. Well, you know, Devin, it's pretty loud out here on the corner and, uh, you know, traffic very loud, especially this time of day. But that is soon to change with the electric vehicle, and it is coming, like it or not, for many people. And it's a situation where General Motors is looking to crank out a lot of EVs and quiet things down very soon. Factory Zero is the new name for the old Detroit Hamtramck assembly plant, but it was also once called the Pole Town plant, a controversial decision by then Mayor Coleman Young to build an auto plant where homes once stood. In 2018, GM said that it was thinking of closing the place. After a UAW national strike, GM agreed to keep it open. Now its rebirth comes with high hopes for the future. It's going to build the Hummer EV SUV and pickup EV. GM announced that yesterday, but today GM President Mark Royce declared. We're excited to announce that the forthcoming first ever Chevrolet Silverado electric pickup will also be produced right here at Factory Zero. That will give the plant four different vehicles, including an autonomous cruise. But for the United Auto Workers, it also means jobs. 2,200 when they get to full production. UAW GM Vice President Gary Dittus, who negotiated that strike adult contract, announced a lot of people displaced over the past couple of years are now going to be back. You are now going to receive more product. And those people that are scattered out in other GM locations, They'll be back under this house. And if all goes well, we should be hiring people after we recall everyone. Now, this was a big Democrat event today. Uh, you had the governor. You also had the former governor, the energy secretary, uh, Jennifer Granholm. You had Mike Duggan, uh, Debbie Stabenow. And they were all talking about the president and his new infrastructure bill, which would put a lot of electric charging stations nationwide. They are hoping for that to pass to keep this ball rolling on the EV. Back to you. And of course, Rod, one of the concerns that people have about electric vehicles is uh, range anxiety, how far they can go on a single charge. What's, uh, what, what are we hearing about this new Silverado? Well, they're getting better at this, Devin, and yep. you would expect that it would go higher still. Right now, they're saying 400 miles <laughs> on the Silverado, which is a pretty good haul. Sure is. Because you could go from here to the UP on that and probably halfway back. So uh, they have to do better with that. They're also aiming these particular vehicles at the commercial and fleet business, at least on the beginning. And so that can be helpful for businesses. Big day. All right, Rod.